Hey everybody, Marinal here. In today's episode, it's what's inside. And as you can see, by looking, uh, there's a Bose cube. So, uh, we're going to open it up. <laughs> Alright, let's take off these uh, little covers they have. They come off fairly easily, actually. They're uh, nothing real special. It's just plastic with fabric pulled over it. You know, just your average cover. Nothing real special. And that shows the uh, dual 2.5 inch drivers. So they have a uh, paper cone that's plastic and a fabric surround. Now let's take this out. I hope no one's expecting anything fancy inside because being bows it's going to be the simplest thing humanly possible. I guarantee you. And these screws are quite hard. A decent length screw. It's not going to vibrate free anytime soon. These screws are just terrible. So we got all the screws out. If you look at them, that's just weird. Now we can release the driver. And, uh, well, there you go. It's, um, yeah, it's really nothing at all that special, to be completely honest. It looks like a what have we got? What's, what would we call that? Um, half an inch, if that. <laughs> and we got a. It's just stamped steel. Nothing special. You get a magnet cover. I don't think the magnet's particularly big on this. Yeah, no, nah, it's not that big. Definitely not. Well, if I put the screwdriver in this hole here, it goes down by. Yeah. Nice. It makes it look bigger than it is. Alright, so what's inside the cabinet? Um, well, um, two pieces of acoustic foam. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, really it, actually. I expected a bit more, to be honest. So the front's held together by glue. You can see that. Uh, got some, well, I guess it's decent, single core wire, definitely single core, you can tell by the way it bends, bend it too much it'll probably break. Uh, it's a fairly decent sized cabinet for that size speaker. Uh, yeah, not a very big voice quill. It's definitely not a long excursion driver, it's not long for it by any means. Hmm. Um, <laughs> definitely not worth the money uh, people pay for these things, I'll tell you that much. It will, I, I do not understand how these go for $150 a pair. I mean, they're just, it's just a cheap $5 speaker in a plastic molded enclosure. It's really nothing special. I mean, you look on the back, it's just your average terminals. You got a mount. They're, they're really nothing special. I don't understand why people pay so much for this. Alright, well, let's put this back in and put it back together because yeah, that's a bad end for, all for the episode, eh? There's a. They've got a cutout here so you can get the actual speaker terminals in there. Get in there, you better. But yeah, well, that's what's inside a Bose cube. Uh, yeah. Nothing that overly special. Certainly not uh, worth the uh, asking cost. It doesn't sound too bad. I mean, the Bose amplifier does 
equalise the living crap out of them to get any good quality sound out of them. I definitely wouldn't say they're worth the money people ask for them. I guess it really is a case of... The brand is Bose, so you pay a lot of money for it. Which is sad. I mean, they could probably sell a shoe, you know, a $5 shoe for... Man, these screws are freaking terrible. I hate them so much. They could probably sell a shoe for like, you know, 200 bucks. It was only $10 to make, and people would actually buy it just because of that logo. As they say, there's a sucker born every minute. Sure, the reflecting thing is pretty cool, but in practice, I mean, it's it's not really... <laughs> it's not that effective, to be honest. If you really want a bow speaker, buy the 901 or the 301. They're far superior than these. The cubes are kind of a letdown for the whole Bose range, really. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. That's what's inside a Bose cube.